Hey everybody, I'm John Benderwaffles Outdates, and today we are doing yet another speed development commentary. This time we are looking at a slightly older speed development that I did a while ago. Uh, this is one where I made a map using the RM Boy tile set that was made by friend of the channel, William the Unpro Pro. Uh, you can get this tile set at the link in the description box down below, or you can buy it as official DLC for RPG Maker MV, MV, not MZ. Uh, although it's pretty easy to convert between the two, uh, you can get it on Steam. So uh, let's take a look at what I made with it, and I'm just going to kind of stream of consciousness talk about it as we go. You know how these commentaries work. So let's go ahead and let's dive into it. Uh, I wanted this to be sort of a very nostalgic looking map, which makes sense considering that I'm using like a very Game Boy-esque uh, tile set for it. But I wanted something that felt like, you know, the the, the early Final Fantasies or, uh, you know, just an RPG that you would get on the Game Boy, really have that, that general overall vibe and feel to it. Um, and overall, I think that I nailed it. It does... It does fall very much into my style in that uh, there are just trees pretty much everywhere. But uh, <laughs> so you already see a few things that I talk about a lot within map creation using different elevations and adding in the little river there just to give kind of a bit of interest to the map. Uh, those are just two of the easiest ways to make your map visually distinct and make it something that the player is able to remember a little bit better. Uh, and here I go with the trees. Uh, <laughs> uh, I get memed on a bit every once in a while for just using a lot of trees. And with this tile set, there's a lot of great options for trees. Um, yeah. Honestly, I think that I might have overdone it a little bit on this one. Looking at it in hindsight, I think that I should have taken a little bit uh more time to try to make the map feel less like a, a very linear, you know, tree filled sort of experience. There's not a lot of room for the player to, to move around off of the paths, which is something that I'm trying to get better at doing. Um, and I, I, I just think it's important as map creators that we constantly evaluate our weaknesses and try to try to grow, try to improve. I, I do make an effort here to have a little bit of an out of the way area that might be somewhere where maybe there's a treasure chest or maybe there's some event happens in this uh, sort of foresty path that's off to the side. Um, but really, I think that I should have left a little bit more of it open. Although it with this tile set, the ground itself is so basic. It's so bland. Um, it is just, you know, a flat color that I understand past me wanting to sort of break that up a little bit and add something in just to make it a little bit visually appealing. And this certainly does look really nice. Like if you look at it as just like a, a singular piece that isn't something that the player plays in, it is definitely interesting looking, but it's just as a playable area, it's not all that appealing. Um, but that being said, I want to spend some more time talking about the tile set because I actually really, really like this tile set. It's something that I would like to spend a little bit more time with. I know that William uh, took a good amount of time working on this. Uh, I remember when he was going through, we talked quite a bit about it as he was working on it. He got some of my takes on it, um, showed me some stuff while he was actually like drafting it out. And I just, I fell in love with the general overall look of it. Um, now, I know that when you read like the Steam reviews, a lot of people complain that you can't make a full game with what you get in the package, which is true. You can't um, because you get you get some tile sets, you get some basic character graphics, you get a few monsters and that's about it. Um, it's going to require you to do a lot, a, a lot more additional work on your end to produce a final product with what William uh, gave us here in this tile set. But that being said, I don't think that's a bad thing. I think that as a game designer, you should be looking to do all that stuff yourself anyways. Um, I feel that there is there is definitely there are definitely time and places where relying on pre-made graphics is a viable thing to do. I definitely think if you're working in like a game jam or if you're just getting started, uh, 
using pre all pre-made stuff is fine and is acceptable. Um, but if you're somebody who like, if you're looking to push this out as, as like an actual serious thing that you want to be taken serious about, um, or if you are somebody who, you know, you, you, you work on these super seriously and this intend you intend this to be a, a proper project that you're going to be working on for the long haul. You need to be okay with doing stuff yourself, relying on, pre-made assets is only going to get you so far but opening yourself up to the concept of creating graphics yourself you're going to be able to produce far more uh engaging far more memorable end products than somebody who just uses bog standard dlc stuff now if you're like a casual developer and you're you're just making the games like for your friends to play around with in their free time then i understand you know, seeing something like this pack and seeing it not being fully featured and, you know, kind of getting a little bummed out by that. I, I understand it. But, you know, in a lot of ways, not everything needs to be made for the lowest common denominator. Not every tile set needs to be made for the casual developer who doesn't have time to do their own graphics. Um, what this tile set does for you is it lays the basic fundamental groundwork that you're going to need that you can then build upon to create your own stuff. And that's, that's something that I absolutely love about game development. Um, I'm always striving to try to do new things and trying to, uh, create stuff that makes my stuff unique. Um, so to me, that's, that's awesome. And this, as I said, it lays a perfect groundwork. It gives you everything that you need to get started. Um, and you can just from there, just kind of copy the basic style, do create new stuff that fits, that works within the confines set by the tile set and uh move on uh so yeah that's really what i wanted to talk about with this video you know i just want i want everybody to be more okay with having to do stuff on their own uh because you know this isn't this isn't a hobby where you're gonna have your hand held uh and if you're the way i see it if you're somebody who is not okay working outside of their comfort zone learning new skills trying new things out admittedly probably failing at those new things every once in a while but that's part of learning um then this is not the hobby to be in this is not the field to be in um because we constantly have to be learning new things we constantly have to be expanding our skill set um to create new stuff because people are always making better stuff than us if we want to stay on top of that we have to keep reaching so Go out, learn new things, make new stuff. Uh, don't be afraid to try things that you aren't 100% comfortable with. Um, because in the end, you're going to wind up with a better product regardless. Um, so, yeah. Bit of a bit of a downer episode of Speed Development Commentary. But I really wanted to, I really wanted to talk about that. That was something that I've seen for a while now. And it's uh, it's been driving me a little bit crazy. But anyways... Ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed this little speed development commentary, then be sure to subscribe to the channel for more. Uh, my next video is not going to be a commentary. I know I did two commentaries back to back, which is not something that I really like to do, but uh, I'm pretty overwhelmed by work right now. And uh, I have a move coming up uh, in the middle of this month. Once that's over with, I feel like content on this channel is going to pick up significantly but until then uh as i said subscribe like this video leave some comments any any engagement with this video at all is great for the algorithm and uh, i would really appreciate it even if you've got bad comments to leave i i'm perfectly fine with bad comments too because uh, any engagement is good engagement <laughs> anyways guys and gals i hope that you have a good rest of your weekend and i will catch you next time